you welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the daily challenge for September 9th, 2023. The character is the Ironclad and the mode of Pressure Camera. Your starting deck, is, starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Purple cards, purple cards now appear in rewards and shops. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. I don't see any familiar names, I'm a little worried. So, yeah, this might not be easy. I see Super Nintendo here with 1113. Alright, let's just get started and see how I can do here. So starting off with the Chimera deck, you have a Bash, Survivor, Zap, and Eruption, and three Strikes and three Defense. And then I won't be able to upgrade anything with Midas, so that might be a problem. There are multiple two Elite Paths. If I go on the left, I'll get four early question mark rooms, and now there are three afterwards. That's very impressive. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. A little worried of not having good cards for the first Elite, but I think with the Eruption, I should be fine. All right, so 14 incoming here. I think I'll do Survivor... Uh, let's do let's just do two strikes that way the enemies won't have any block anymore and I should be able to kill with the eruption I am guaranteed to draw this turn right and come all right heart of iron is a great potion meditate halt or sentinel let's take the meditate to have a way to exit wrath and then here okay I could get an early curse out of this let's see nope nope got damaged that's actually really annoying and come Eat HP, yeah, that's 10 max 10% of your max HP, right? Got uh, the cultist here. Let's do bash and strike. I could have considered doing meditate just to have extra energy when I enter wrath. Um, because now I don't. Instead, let's just do survivor and zap. I'm hoping I can reshuffle back to that eruption. Nine incoming. Um I mean I have 18 damage, right? Try to take the nine damage and let's do two defense, one strike. Unfortunately, now I won't be able to draw any strikes together with my eruption. Okay, let's do Survivor. Wait, next turn I have the Eruption. That's going to be nine. Yeah, I think that should be enough, right? Let's do Defend and then Zap here. Okay. And then, yeah, I just need Eruption. One other attack card. Yeah, good. Okay, we got a Regen Potion. Shrug it off, Super Mike Swivel. Shrug it off is a great defensive card. Also, who's my final boss? Slime Boss. All right. I think I'll probably don't really need the Regen Potion. Let's lose HP for gold here. And then here I'll got, I got, actually I could take, no, no, I do want another curse. So let's take injury, my first curse, and then golden idol enemy drop 25% more gold. Especially with the Midas, that should mean I should be able to get a lot of gold. And then healing back to full. Yeah, I definitely don't really need a regen potion. All right, so sentries here. Unfortunately, to be able to fully defend, I have to double defend. Should I drink the heart of iron? No, let's double defend and then meditate another defend back. Yeah, now, I mean, I am in calm, but I might not be able to really enter wrath. Yeah, so if I do Eruption, I still have 18 incoming, and I don't even have any good attacks. Let's just shrug it off. If I do Eruption... No, 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 I, I can't even kill... I haven't dealt damage to anybody yet, which is annoying. I don't have high hopes of perfecting this one. I mean, I could, again, play Defend and Survivor, but that doesn't... I mean, fine, fine, let's try this. Just to make sure that there was... Oh, I had to play another Defend. It's fine, I don't think there's a way to perfect this one. Even if I drank the Heart of Iron, it wasn't, it wasn't guaranteed that I would be able to defend every turn. Oh, okay, not a great example. Yeah, let's just accept the damage. I'll do bash, strike, and then next turn I think I'll drink the regen potion just because might as well, right? There's no reason not to. Yeah, this one I think would have been very difficult to perfect. Here, I mean, I can do eruption and then um, something like defense, survivor, and meditate. And you know what? Let's bring back the eruption. I might be able to use it next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, I would be in wrath, but... No, and then next round we'll be able to do it either. Let's just, yeah. All right, I think I'll skip this up. This is fairly boring. Hopefully the regen will help me with the loss of HP I have every turn. But yeah, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Okay, I lost a lot of HP. I'm down to 40. We got pair up and pick up ratio max HP by, by 10. Bowling Bash, Exhumer, Dual Wield. Do I want Dual Wield? Not really. I think I'll take the Bowling Bash. I might consider taking rare cards because I think I might struggle without them. But, you know, I don't think I need, really need Exhum at the moment. Let's do Shrug it off. Uh, you know what? Let's do Bash. That might help me deal a lot of damage. I think I'm lacking good attack cards at the moment. Let's do Bowling Bash, Strike, and then I'll do Defend here. Okay, preserve some HP. Mm -hmm. And then is the Eruption enough? Uh, 12, 9 is 21. Yeah, that should be enough. Good. All right, got a Flex Potion. Sands of Time might be the attack I was looking for. Let's take it. Yeah, I desperately need something good here. Single, add any cards into deck, you may raise your max HP by 2 instead. Okay, I do need to get to 110 max HP. Alright, so Sands of Time is really good here, especially if I draw it on turn 1. Good. 
All right, well, there is an eruption. I think I should play the meditate next turn. Yeah, let's not do anything here. And then this turn, I'll do meditate the eru... Uh, I messed that up. I should have played meditate at the end. Let me reload real quick. Yeah, let's first play at least some sort of attack. I think I'll do... I'll do... Yeah, let's do bash and then meditate. And I'll bring back the eruption. And if I can draw the meditate next turn, then I will be able to do a lot of damage. Although, actually, there is a meditate. So that's 13 plus another... It'll be 60, right? With the flex potion, this might be enough to kill. Let's do eruption. Sense of time, 75. And then a strike. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Got molten egg when we add an attack into deck upgraded. As well as a fear potion and... Oof. Eruption is very tempting. You know what? Let's give up on Popper because I'm having trouble already. Let's take the Corruption and just hope for Dead Branch or other synergies. And now I do want to pick up as many skills as possible. Let's start with the Corruption and then Survivor. Yeah, too bad I can't get that upgraded either, right? Seven incoming. I think I'll do Bowling Bash. Play two defense and then two strikes. Come. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Shrug it off gives me... Oh, right. I don't have the Eruption yet. Let's do defend here to be fully defended, and then strike, sense of time, and then meditate the sense of time. That should allow me to kill next turn. All right. Yeah, didn't lose too much HP thanks to that corruption. Okay, Dark Embrace. Oof. All right, the game is pushing me into an exhaust energy deck, so let's take it. And then upgrade a card. I wonder if that should be the corruption or the eruption. Um... I mean, there's a chance I might get Sneko, in which case it doesn't matter which of these two I upgrade. Um, meditate might be good too. Let's upgrade the Meditate and really hope for Sneko, because I think at this point that would be very useful. Alright, do I want to risk Eruption? This would be 28. Yeah, I can kill the Backliner that way. Let's do Eruption, Bowling Bash. Okay, so I'll take a little bit extra damage, but hopefully... Alright, I still have 14 incoming here. Let's do Survivor and Bash. Come, okay. And then Sense of Time is actually enough to kill this turn, right? Okay, this arm is really nice. Rushdown might be good too, but let's take the disarm. And then here I got the lice. Um, well, I can do corruption, shrug it off, and hope for a defensive card. Nope, that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, another 10 bowling bash is enough to kill you. I can do a zap, strike, defend, and then meditate. Uh, let's take another bowling bash. Oh, right, two things and a strike, sure. All right, uh, here I can do Eruption, Bowling Bash to kill this one, and then Strike to kill. Good. All right, got Fruit Juice. I will drink that right away, as well as Signature Move. That's not going to work well with the Eruption. I think Empty Fist might be better in this situation, just to have a way to exit Wrath. And now again, I'm healing back. All right. All right, let's try the Slime Moss. Starting off with Corruption is tempting. Let's do that. I have to be a little careful. I can't play too many skills too quickly. I do want to save some of them. I think I'll throw the Fear Potion, then do Eruption, and I really need a lot of damage next turn. I should have. I haven't drawn any good attacks yet, right? Okay, so Bowling Bash. Oh, that's not actually enough. Wow. Oh, I cannot believe this. There's nothing I can do. Even if I wasn't in Wrath, there's nothing I can do to fully defend here, right? Wow. I am actually very surprised. Yeah, just didn't draw enough defensive cards in the first turn. Senzo Time does 60 damage, so that's pretty good, but... Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... I mean, I'm very surprised. Not much I can do about that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this deck just lacked enough offensive cards. I mean, that must be it, right? Uh, let's do a strike here, and then I can kill with the Sense of Time next turn. Yeah, that's actually very disappointing. Usually the Slime Boss is the easy one. All right, all right. I definitely need rare cards to help with this. Barricade and Pervious Judgment are all good. I think... Well, not Judgment. I think between Barricade and Pervious, it should be Barricade, especially because I have Corruption. No Sneko. Definitely can't do Runic Dome. Should I take Astrolabe? I'm going to pick up Transform three cards and upgrade them. Would help me get cards upgraded. Let's take it. All right, and then three cards should probably be... I I don't I don't think it should be the strikes right or the defense. I think it should be the strikes, although I am lacking offensive cards. Let's do two strikes and one defend. I think that's safe. Alright, I got offering that's pretty good. Bell trance is nice too, and flame is okay. Yeah, I think the offering is very valuable. Yeah, I definitely have to try to go for Popper. I already missed one perfect on a boss. I have to I have to try better. Alright, two leads. They both merge here. If I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three question mark rooms. In the middle, I'll get one, two, three also three extra rest set actually yeah 
right side or middle has an extra right side, which I don't think I really need. Do I want to go for the shop? Because I do have a lot of gold. It would make me skip a question mark. I think in the past in Midas runs, I always avoided shops and ended up regretting that. So yeah, yeah, let's do the shop. Let's skip a question mark room and go for the shop. So do a shop and then actually if I go left here. Yeah, wait, there is a four elite. Wait, hang on. If I do one, two, three, four, five, I can do a five question mark room path. If I skip the shop or if I go to a shop instead of a question mark room, I'll do four question mark room path, which is still good. All right, Sphere Guardian. Let's start off with Corruption, Zap, Battle Trance. Uh, did I? No, I didn't play the right card yet. Okay. And then I can do this arm and just wait. All right. Mm -hmm. Ten incoming here. I mean, I don't really need Bayercade. Yeah, Survivor will... I mean, I won't hang on to any extra block, right? So I think I'll do Inflame. Let's do Survivor first, then do Dark Embrace, because I also don't want to draw anything yet. All right, 10 incoming. Um, I could meditate something back, right? Let's do defend first, see what I draw. All right, then do bash offering. Okay. All right, and then I could do eruption and meditate. Let's do that. Eruption, well, let's do shrug it off first. And actually, there's an empty fist. That might be better than meditate. Uh, let's do defend. Oh, actually, my deck is, uh, okay. I exhausted everything in my deck. All right, let's do empty fist then. And um, should I do meditate? Yeah, you know what? Let's meditate the empty fist because there's a significant chance I might draw the eruption next turn, in which case I can kill. Good. All right, got a weakness potion. Protect Flurry of Blows or Halt. Let's take the protect as much as I need more attack cards. Okay, I can pretty much afford everything here, right? Let's take the least waffle up and pick up race to make sure we buy seven heal all of your HP. Gear is a little expensive. I don't think I need fa Bird Face Earn. Let's take the Gear Yukon again. Strength that right side up to three times. Then let's also take the Lesson Learned. Twin Strike is good. Another. Wait, I'm, hang on. Am I going for Collector Bonuses or for the Highlander Modifier? Yeah, I shouldn't I shouldn't go for Collector, so let's not take another Protect. Do I want Fasting? I don't have a lot of extra energy. I don't think I'll take it. Let's take Second Wind instead. And then let's just take maybe an Attack Potion. I might need that more than anything else. I think that's it. I don't think I need magnetism. I mean, I can afford it. It's just a little expensive. Yeah, I don't think I need it. Deep breath might be fine, though. Let's take that. Come. Okay. All right, here. Special relic or transform two cards. I might get duplicates. Also, I'm not a. I'm not 100 percent sure what to transform. Let's take the special relic instead. Mutagenic strength starts to come with three strength at the end of your first turn. Lose three strength again. Come. Okay. And then let's do the question mark room first. All right, curse number two, shame, as well as ice cream. Energy is not conserved between turns. That's really nice. Okay, got the birds here. Uh, all right, 10 incoming. I do want to save the lesson learned. Let's do corruption, shrug it off. Okay, just wait. Shame I'm not uh, using the extra strength I have, but that's fine. Don't have a lot of AOE damage other than the um, other than the bowling bash. Second win is nice. Let's do, uh, not second win, disarm, I mean. Then do battle trance. All right, I can do a... Actually, should I just do Barricade? Yeah, let's do Barricade, Protect, and then Second Wind. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And now I have 13 incoming. I think I'll do Dark... Actually, no, I definitely don't want to do Bowling Mash. Get this one to the ground. Then, um, yeah, let's just do Dark Embrace. And then play all the other cards. Actually... I want to do meditate. I could meditate back the lesson learned, but it's only 13 damage. Actually, it's not that much. Let's do survivor. Okay. And then I'll do meditate the lesson learned. Hoping. Oh, two things. Okay. Lesson learned bowling bash. Good. All right. I, I think I discarded the eruption though, right? All right. Okay. Back letter start attacking. All right. Um, let's see. Let's do zap. See if I can draw something good. I didn't. Uh, I mean... Lesson learned is not enough. I was hoping to... Actually, let's do Empty Fist. That'll give me energy back. Then I can kill with the... Wait, before I do Lesson Learn, let's do Bowling Bash to get this one on the ground. All right. Then Lesson Learn to kill you. Okay, got a Defend upgraded. Good. Then Twin Strike. Actually, that's not enough to kill. Should I do an Offering? Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's do Twin Strike, Defend, and just wait. Okay. Hmm. All right, so here I can do... Um, in flame and bash, and then next turn I should be able to play a pretty good sense of time. Although, yeah, I'm not I'm not weakened, I'm frail, right? All right, eruption and sense of time, good. Okay, we got a liquid memories potion, which is kind of nice. I will take it over the weakness potion, I think, and then thunderclap, flex or havoc. Should I take Man no? Well, 
I'm not sure if I should take max HP instead. Have a good nice. It's a skill that exhausts. Might play something annoying like Eruption in a turn where I don't want it, but hopefully I'll be fine. Alright, 12 incoming, no way to defend. Nothing I can do to defend at all, right? Um, not even the attack push will save me, so yeah, let's just deal damage and not worry about it. Let's do Twin Strike, Strike, Empty Fist, come. Yeah, even the weakness potion would... I mean, I still need to come up with block, right? Let's do Corruption, Survivor, and then Defend, come. Mm -hmm. 21. Uh, let's see what the Shragadov gives me first. Offering next, come. Alright, uh, Havoc might still play the Eruption. Let's try to avoid it. This arm is great. Let's do Barricade... I risk. Yeah, you know what? Let's do Havoc. Hope it's not the eruption. It's a protect. That's much better. Then do a battle trance. See what I get there. All right. There is the eruption. And I can Well, it doesn't make sense to do eruption and meditate, right? Let's do inflame, bowling bash, and then meditate. I'll bring back the empty fist and let's do twin strike. Why not? Come. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think it might be hard to use the lesson learned here. Uh, it would allow me to get rid of it here. Let's do deep breath. Okay, then do second win to get rid of the curse. Come. Okay. And then I think I'll do bash, empty fist, twin strike, and... Oh, right, I can't do sense of time. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Because I already lost HP here, I think I'll wait for the um, lesson learned to come back. Actually, sense of time is going to be enough to kill. So let's not do that. Instead, I'll do bowling bash, dark embrace. Accept 20 damage. And hopefully draw the lesson learned next turn. Otherwise, I can kill with the sense of time whenever I need to. 19... Do I, you know what? I'm okay taking another 19 damage. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright. Not so sure about taking another 24. Do I have an arrest site after this? I was... Well, I do have a rest site in a bit. I was going to go for this rest site. Actually, I wanted to use gears. Yeah, no, fine, fine. Let's just kill here. I don't need to upgrade that badly. We had Calipers at the server every turn. Lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Dropkick, Clothliner, and Flame. I don't have vulnerability that often for Dropkick to be worth it. It's just the bash, right? There's no other source. Yeah, I didn't take the Thundercloud before. Um, I think Clothline might be better. Let's take it. Come. Okay. Alright, Cultus and the Chosen One. I don't think I'll do Eruption. I think instead, let's do Deep Breath first. Then Battle Trance. Hmm. Well, I can do Eruption Empty Fist, but that's not, not going to give me energy back. Um, drink a Potion. I'd like to play the Meditate as well. Fine, fine. I think I'll do eruption and empty fist almost enough to kill this one but i will take 10 damage come okay. mm -hmm. here i can do survivor havoc that's a bowling mesh good and then just actually should i play a bunch of cards to keep block with calipers yeah let's do that okay. so i'll keep 10 block for next turn beautiful that's enough to be fully defended don't want to do inflame i mean i'm gonna try to save the lesson learned again let's see if that helps me in any way uh, let's do strike and zap. Okay. I have to be careful. This enemy can do a lot of damage sometimes. This arm is great. Defend is great. And then, yeah, let's do Sons of Time. That way I'll reshuffle it too. Mm -hmm. Alright, another 12. I think I'll do the offering. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the eruption and the meditate. Let's do eruption, bash, twin strike. That's enough to kill. Good. Alright, Shrug it off, Weave for Thunderclap. Already have the Shrug it off. Don't need Weave. Let's take the Thunderclap to have more vulnerability. And then here... I Actually, do I want to increase the chance of finding rare cards? I mean, Astrolabe doesn't help me in any way, right? Let's take it, yeah. Obtain a special relic. Uh, we've got a Loth Gift. Triple the chance of finding rare cards from common rewards. Very unusual that I take this, but I am not going for Popper today. We've got Toxic Egg. One of you has skill into deck upgraded. Okay. And then going right for the next Elite, right? Yeah, I am worried I might have to rest here. Um, you want? No, let's risk it. Let's lift. The problem is I don't have a lot of defensive cards, but I do have some good potions, so I'm hoping the potions will carry me. Centurion and Mystic. Not being attacked, that's great. I think I'll do Barricade. I, I'm i not sure if I should do Offering. Let's let's do it, though. It might help me. Ah, there's a Corruption I can play. That's a shame. All right, let's do Empty Fist and then Defend. Come. Okay. Yeah, it's a bummer I can't play that Corruption. That really helps me. 14. Uh, let's do Inflame Survivor. And then I think I'll meditate back the Corruption. And let's do let's do Survivor again. That way I should be able to play a bunch of skills. Okay. Another 14. Yeah, let's do Corruption. Then Zap, Protect, 
I already discarded the eruption, right? Let's make the Havoc. That should be safe. Sands of time. Nice. Although it did exhaust, and that's my best attack card at the moment. Okay. Once I run out of block, I might be in trouble. All right. Uh, let's do disarm you. Twin strike, bowling bash, strike. Okay. Hmm. And then here... Okay, I will try to use the lesson if I can. Let's do eruption, dark embrace, uh, defend. Oh, I should have done thunderclap. There's no reason not to. Okay, luckily I'm not being attacked here. Let's do uh, twin strike kills. Oh, actually, here, let's do shrug it off, defend. Then I think if I do empty fist and meditate the lesson learned, that should allow me to kill next turn, right? 17, yeah, I have exactly 17. Good. Okay, got a Bash upgraded. That's nice. Consecrate, Sash Whip, Protect. I already have the Protect. Between these two, let's take the Sash Whip. Solid attack card. All right, and then the Cultists here. A little risky to enter Wrath at the beginning. I think instead I'll just do Clothline and Second Wind to get rid of the Shame. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18 incoming. Um, I can't... Oh, wow. I don't think I have a good way. Let me use the attack potion here. Thunderclap, talk to the end or consecrate. I think hmm, talk to the end would be better if I had any attacks. Let's take the consecrate then. No, let's take talk to the end and hope that I can get some more attacks later. And then I'll do disarm you. And then meditate. I'll probably meditate back eruption and clothesline, hope, hoping that I can get the empty fist next turn. All right, there's an offering. That's not an empty fist. I think I'll risk it. Let's do eruption. Then a uh, bowling bash. That will be 48, almost enough to kill this one. Then let's do offering. I should have done the flame before the bowling bash. All right, there's a lesson learned. That should kill you. Good. Got an eruption upgrade. That's actually very useful. Then do, how much is this? 32. Uh, 30. Um, so if I do clothesline, I don't want to deal with 18 incoming though. Um... Let's see. No, I don't want to do deep breath either. Let's do shrug it off. Mm. Mm, how do I do this? Uh, yeah, I think I'll do defend and then twin strike. Yeah, that guarantees a kill, and now I can just focus on this one. Actually, sense of time is 42 damage, right? That should be enough. Not a clap, sense of time. Okay, all right. Didn't lose too much HP there. Pummel strike, battle him, empty body. Let's take the empty body. I need more ways to exit wrath. All right, this one might be rough too, especially because I only have 20 HP left. 16 incoming. I think I have to do shrug it off, defend, and then let's do bowling bash. Okay. Hmm. Another 16. I mean, there's corruption, which should allow me to play the defend and second win to gain a little bit of block. Still losing 6 HP, though. Hmm. Another 18. I might have to do the offering here. Yeah, let's do dark embrace offering. Down to 8 HP, though. Very dangerous. Uh, let's get rid of the injury. Okay. Havoc. It's not going to play an eruption, right? Let's see what it plays. Um, that was... Oh, no. Meditate. I'm dead with the meditate, right? Yeah, I only have 16. Unbelievable. I have to reload. I forgot that it's not just an eruption that's a problem. It could be the meditate that will force me to end my turn. Uh, oh, boy. All right. Let's try this one more time. I wonder if I should drink the potion. I kind of want to save them for at least the elite fight. So here I did shrug it off, defend, and then bowling match, right? Okay. And this is where I took damage because I want to do corruption and then defend in second wind. Okay, so far I'm doing everything the same way. All right, here I can't play the. Well, let's do Dark Embrace Offering and then can't do the Havoc. Wait, did I not draw the Havoc? Oh, uh, no, I did Survivor, right? That gave me the Havoc. Okay, so if I play that, yeah, there's a chance I might hit the Meditate, which I don't want to do, so let's not risk that. Instead, I think I'll do Eruption and then Empty Fist, right? Yeah, I do need some block though uh let's do eruption then sash whip that applies weakness so i'll be at least i'll be fully well I'll, at least i'll be alive and then i'll do empty fist should i do meditate i mean i know i'm gonna draw the meditate right i think it's actually fine now let me risk deep breath then do havoc this way i'm not gonna play the eruption okay that played a barricade that's good and gave me a defense okay that was that was lucky didn't take too much damage there 16. Twin Strike is 69. A little bit more than that. Uh, let me see what the Battle Trance... Actually, once I play it, I won't be able to draw anything else, right? Which is fine. I don't have any other card draw anyway. Alright, so I can do Thunderclap, Empty Fist. 
That's 22. That's enough to kill the backline. So let's do Bowman Bash and then Empty Fist. Phew. All right. Got through this one. We got a Colorless Potion, Rage, Sash Whip, or Wheel Kick. I already have the Sash Whip. Between Rage and Wheel Kick, let's take the Rage. Might give me a lot of block. All right. This is where I might have to use some of my potions. Uh, actually, looks like I uh, might be in trouble here. Let's drink the Colorless Potion for a Dark Shackles. It's really good. Let's take that. So Bowling Bash is 33 with Thunderclap. That would be enough to kill one of them. So I can do Thunderclap, Bowling Bash. Then Dark Shackles, you. I still need 10. The survivor's only 8. I mean, I could drink a Heart of Iron. Yeah, let's do Thunderclap, Bowling Bash. Okay. And then Survivor. And then, yeah, let's do the Heart of Iron. Okay. Alright. No, not doing any damage, but can I keep this going? 14 incoming. I do have the Defend. That's 8. Yeah, that's exactly 14. Let's do Defend, Disarm, and I guess I'll do a Strike. Unfortunately, next round I'll be weakened. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a lesson learned, but 19. I think I have to do the corruption. Then protect and empty. Actually, I don't need the empty body. Let's save it for later because I'm fully defended already. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I might have to do the offering. Let's do rage first, then offering. Actually, yeah, no, I feel like I have to do the offering. All right, and then let's do shrug it off. Empty, well, let's do Twin Strike, then Sash Whip is 11. Empty Fist is enough to kill. Then do Sash Whip, okay. And then I can't do Deep Breath, un or Barricade, unfortunately. I think instead, let's do Deep Breath. Okay, then do Battle Trance. And then I think I'll do Second Wind. Let's do Thunderclap, Sash Whip, and then do Second Wind. That will give me a lot of block, and um, I will hang on to that block with Calipers. I don't I don't think I discarded my... Um, my lesson learned, right? So there's a still a, there's still a significant chance of drawing it. So let's do this and this. And then I don't want to do any damage. I'm hoping to get the lesson learned to get another card upgraded. There it is. Beautiful. All right, got the beer kit upgrade. That's really nice. We got uh, Jinju can no longer, be, no longer become weakened. Omniscience. Yeah, I should definitely take that. Let's take the omniscience. Okay. And then I think I have to rest here. I'm a little worried going into the final fight with only 14 HP. So let's at least bring it up to 44. All right, so not a great start here. I, th I think I'll do Clothesline and Sash Whip to apply a few turns of weakness. Let's see if that does a difference. Now everybody's attacking me, and there's nothing I can do to defend. So, well, good thing I rested. Yeah, absolutely nothing I can do. Let's do the Inflame, Thunderclap, and Twin Strike. Um, this is 32. Yeah, it kills anyone, right? Let's kill the stronger one. Yeah, good thing I rested. I would have been dead otherwise, so no chance against this one, too. Just got some unlucky draw. Anything I need to Omniscience? Um... I'm trying to think. I could Omniscious Dark Embrace. That might be a little too much. Uh, let me do Offering first. Okay. Yeah, there's a Barricade. I wanted to grab that first. And then should I just Omniscious a good defensive card? I could Omniscious the Protect. Yeah, let's do that. I have the Barricade active, right? Yeah, why not? All right, let's Omniscious the Protect. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay. Yeah, I am Frail, so that's a little annoying. I didn't get all of, it out, uh, all of the benefit out of it. 10 incoming here. I have to... Well... I don't have to, but I should play Corruption. Havoc might play the Meditate, so let's do that at the end. I don't think I'll do Rage. Let's do Havoc here for a Battle Trance, okay? And then I can do Shrug It Off and Meditate. Let's bring back something like Empty Fist and um, Bowling Bash, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I don't have Dark Embrace active yet, right? Yeah. All right, lots of incoming here. Let's do Bowling Bash to... Oh, actually, that's not even enough to kill this one. That gets me close. Let's do Bowling Bash, then Empty Fist. Gives me energy back. Um, let me do Dark Embrace, then Deep Breath. Okay. Second one, we'll get rid of an injury. That's not a bad idea. Let's do it. And then I can do a Defend and Frail, which is very annoying. Uh, let's do... Can't apply... Well, the enemy's already weakened anyway, right? Let's see what the Defend gives me. Okay, fine. I'll just do the most damage is the Sash Let's play that. All right. Okay, not being attacked. That's good. I think I'll risk entering Wrath here. Let's do Eruption. Actually, let's see what the Zap gives me. Lesson learned. All right, I'll do Sands of Time. Is there a chance of me exiting Wrath next turn? No. Well, there's an Empty Body. Although I can't use the Lesson Learned anyway. Let's do Empty Fist here. Try to do Survivor. I have Barricade. Let's do it. That way, at least I'll avoid one extra turn of Shame. Or for Frailty, I mean. All right, there is a Rage that I think I'll play here. Then do Disarm. Okay. Then do Thunderclap. Okay. Clothesline is enough to kill one of them. 
Should I do Sash Whip? Should I target the back line? No, let's do Cloth Line to kill one of them. Increase the chance I'll, I'll, um, I won't get attacked next turn. And okay, I have the Sands of Time for next turn as well. Mm -hmm. 32 incoming, I have 29, so one of them have to has to go. Um... I do have the Eruption again. That'll be 36. Okay, let's do Eruption. Empty Fist this one. I think first I'll do... Yeah, let's do Bowling Bash. Sands of Time. Actually, it's a lot of... Wait, is Empty Fist enough to kill this one? It is. Yeah, absolutely no chance of perfecting this one. All right, got a Duplication Potion. Exhume Demon Form or Judgment. I don't think I need Demon Form, although it might allow me to get the Overkill modifier easily. And I can Omniscience it. Exhume might be better, but let's take the Demon Form here. All right. And then here, I would like extra energy. Sacred Bark is nice too. This is tough. I think I'll take the Sacred Bark, double the effect in the so potion. So mostly I don't want to give enemies extra strength with the Philosopher's Stone. So hopefully this will be better. Also, I have a lot of gold again. Let's try to hit a shop if I can. One, two, two lead path only on the left. With one, two, three, four question mark rooms, no guarantee shop. There are paths on the right with more question mark rooms and multiple guaranteed shops. So I had how many was that? I think it was four question mark rooms on Act One, seven on Act Two. Uh, sorry, seven on Act One, four on Act Two. So I need at least four to get the mystery mission modifier. That's another 25 points. Path on the left would give it to me. If I go on the right, though, I mean, yeah, the two shops are very tempting. Let's get here and decide. If I have a chance of uh, perfecting things, I might decide to go for the two lead path. Otherwise, I don't think it makes sense. Uh, here, I think I'll start off with Eruption, Thunderclap, and Empty Fist. Almost enough to kill immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then, do I want to wait for the lesson learned? Let's do this arm, Empty Body, and Flame. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then deep breath. Do I or defense? Do I want to do deep breath? It will give me one card draw, but also decrease the chance of drawing the lesson learned. I'll wait one more turn. I end up losing too much HP in the last deck, but let's try it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, got a protect upgrade. That might be might be worth it. Dual wield rupture consecrate. Dual wield is not that useful. I don't think I have good power, so I need to duplicate. Consecrate might be slightly better. Let's take it. Then I do have to get to enough max HP at some point, right? Okay, so here, let's see. Bomb Seeker Technique Chrysalis. I'll think about that. Dramatic Entrance Might Blast. Might Blast is not that powerful, but it does do a good amount of damage initially. So does the Dramatic Entrance, though. Vanessa Purity Thinking Ahead. Let's take Thinking Ahead here for a card draw. Here, I'm not sure. Actually, Seeker Technique would be nice. Would give me the Omniscience, right? Let's take that. And then here, I think I'll do Might Blast. Yeah. Okay. And then here, I can get, unfortunately, only the second Curse. But that's probably fine. Yeah, let's do that and also heal. Okay, so uh, left side, two elites, two question mark rooms. The right side, uh, shop, three question mark rooms. Actually, two shops, three question mark rooms, and only one elite. I'm a little worried that I have no chance of perfecting elites. So basically, I'm just skipping out on 30 points. And I will make that up with the... Actually, no, Mr. Machine Modifier I'm going to get either way. I'm hoping to make that up with... I like shiny by buying a bunch of stuff at shops, right? Although it might be difficult. I think I'll go on the right, yeah. All right, do it all is nice for each curse in your deck. Start come with uh, one extra strength. I don't think I'll take Strange Spoon because I do actually want things to exhaust. White Beast Statue is a little expensive. Potions always appear in combat rewards, but let's take it. Now let's also take Ragnarok, which is very expensive. Deceive Reality is great. I think now I'll take the Dual Wield. And I think that's it. I'm a little low on, on gold now. So I'm a little worried that if, for the next shop, I might not have enough. Okay, fine. Let's lose all of the gold to get Red Mask. Get the Savage Combat by one week to all enemies. All right. And then my only elite on the Sack Giant Head. Nine incoming. I think... Anything I need to Omniscience here. Can Omniscience the... Um, the Offering. Or Omniscience the Demon Form. Then I won't be able to fully defend. Oh boy, Shrug it off is not enough, right? What if I just uh, Secret Technique something that gives me block? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so I could, you know what? No, let me do offering. Let me do offering. Hope I can draw something better. Okay, yeah, I think this is better because I can do barricade, shrug it off, and then disarm and defend. Save some block with the barricade and might as well do consecrate at the end. Okay, then use the mind blast yet, but I think that's fine. All right, so here let's do deceive reality and a bash. Now, unfortunately, I'll be frail next turn, but that should be okay. I hope. Hmm. There's a thinking ahead. Let's play that. All right. Put the uh, injury back. Get rid of that with the Havoc, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then do it in flame and twin strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Another 11. I'm fully defended here. Yeah, I think I'll do Corruption now. And then I'm not frail, so let's play the defensive cards. Uh, should I do Deep Breath? Um, I was hoping to draw the Omniscience. Yeah, let's wait. I don't think I need to play the Deep Breath. Okay. 28. There is the Omniscience. Do I want, still want Omniscience to Deva form? I might have trouble defending, but it might help me kill things faster. Okay. All right, so four strength every turn. That's pretty good. Um, and then here, let's do Survivor. I don't think I need the empty, uh, the second wind, then empty body, then empty fist, and then sense of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. 33. I need to dual wield anything. I need to bring anything back. Um, Ragnarok. Actually, Ragnarok with a lot of strength would be nice. Yeah, I think I'll do... Let's do... I, don't I mean, might as well play the zap, right? Let's do zap. Then I think I'll duplicate the protect. It's a lot of block. All right. Then dual wield the bowling bash. Play. Uh, wait, why is it play twice? Oh, because I have sacred bark. So I'm okay. Fine. I guess I'll get lots of bowling bashes then. Okay, that's not too bad. So right, right. Because of sacred bark, I have liquid memories. I can get two cards back. Thirty-eight. Yeah, this might be a problem, right? Let's do rage. Um, I don't have the um, I don't have the what do you call it the dark embrace, so I'm not actually able to draw anything. Um, all right, let's do consecrate strike. I wonder if I bring back another consecrate and strike, that will only give me another ten blocks. So that's not enough. All right, fine. I'll just wait. It's okay. I had no chance of perfecting this one. I might have gotten close, actually. If I got a little... If I was a little better with the planning. Let's just shrug it off. Deep breath first, then battle trance. Okay. All right, I can't do thinking yet, but let's do dark embrace now. All right. Bowling bash, sash whip. Another bowling bash. And I think that's it. Let me put the shame back. Okay. And then here... Can I wait to deal double damage? Um... Not double, I mean more than 100. I mean, I would take 36 if I do that. Yeah, fine, let's just do Thunder Strike, and that's enough. Thunder Clap is enough to kill. Got Bronze Scale, Sash Combo, three Thorns, as well as a Swift Push, and Nirvana, Whirlwind, or Evolve. Definitely not Nirvana. Between Evolve, and, well, actually, definitely not Evolve either, right? So I think I should take the Whirlwind. I try to, actually, no, there's a chance for me to buy more cards. Let's take the Whirlwind. Okay. All right, here, gain more Strength. All right. And then here, go right side for one more question mark room, and then another shop and question mark room. We got meat on the bone. If your HP is added below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. That's actually kind of nice. And Tori, whenever you receive 5 or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to 1. Okay. Alright, got the Dark Links here. Um, so Mind Blast. Wait, I am actually surprisingly close. Let's do Thunderclap and then Mind Blast. Yeah, oh no, 65. Right, right. I forgot. It's not double damage. It's just a little bit extra damage. All right, let's kill. Hang on. Twin Strike is 44. Let's kill you and then you. And that's it. Now I have to try to do a lot of damage to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think I can. Let's do Sash Whip, Clothline, and just wait. This way with Thori, I only take one damage. All right. Mm -hmm. Lots of incoming. Anything? You know what? This is probably the fight I should have initiated the, um, the, what do you call, call it? The um, Demon Form. I did I discard it? Not my, oh no, it, it is in my draw pile. Right. Let's do omniscience. Let's grab the demon form, and then I'll do rage and consecrate to give me a little bit of block. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, eleven. Uh, let's do corruption, empty body, and just wait. Yeah, basically, I'm trying to get a lot of strength so I can get the overcome modifier. It might take me a little bit, but it would give me twenty five points. So let's let's do that. Do I want to do offering? I don't think I, I don't think I need it. Let's get a um, protect. How about that? Do that. Then do offering. Okay. All right. There's a barricade, which is great. Disarm. Uh, shrug it off. Defend and uh, bash. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready here. If I do Eruption, then the Sands of Time will deal 128 damage. Beautiful. All right, got Overkill there. We've got Liquid Bronze, which is fine. And Trench Rampage Study. I think here in Trench might not be a bad idea. Let's take it. And then going left for another shop and a question mark room. Okay, yeah, Rome would be great here, right, with the extra strength. Let's just do that. Makes my life easier. Okay. All right, we got a Dex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Um, Metallicize is really nice. Let's take it. Definitely not going for as much max HP as I was hoping to. 
Got the transient here. Start off with the Mind Blast. Actually, if I do Seeker Technique... Um, now, let's do Mind Blast and then Seeker Technique. I can't play the high-cost cards, right? So, no Omniscience, no Barricade. Actually, I can't even grab the Barricade. Uh, how about I grab the Deceive Reality? Yeah, that might be better. Okay. Mm -hmm. 40, all right. Uh, here, Corruption is fine, but I might have trouble. Here, let's do Safety... Entrench and then second wind. All right, still taking some damage, but I think I should be okay. Hmm, 15. Oh, wow. Um, I might have trouble here, actually. Let's do uh, zap, then lesson learned. Oh, wow. All right, still taking 32 damage. Not much I can do about that. Let's grab these two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 60. Yeah, now I think I should be good, right? Uh, let's do thunderclap, uh, consecrate, twin strike. Uh, defend, deceive reality, safety, and then let's grab something like the omniscience to play something like the uh, bear kit, actually. Yeah, that might be better. And I might as well do sense of time. Actually, I should have kept that sense of time for next turn. That might have been a mistake. Because now I have to come up with 70 damage, and I don't think I can. All right, let's do offering. Yeah, I should have kept the sense of time. Ragnarok should be enough, though. Yep. Okay, a little annoying of a fight here. At least I heal back to 55. We've got another Liquid Bronze, which I don't think I'll take. Foreign Influence is not a bad idea. Wheel Kick would be good too. Who's my final boss, by the way? If it's a Time Eater, it is the Time Eater. Let me not take Foreign Influence and let's take the Wheel Kick instead. All right. And then last shop. Unfortunately, I can't buy enough Relics. Yeah, nothing I can do in terms of Relics. Instead, let's take the Cut Through Fate Third Eye. All right. And I still need to get two more cards. Let's do Study, although that might be a little hard to use. Yeah, I think I have to take two more cards. All right. So let's do Study and then Swift Strike. That way, at least I have the... I know that I have the... Um, it's going to be a modifier. Okay. And then another Darkling fight. I don't think I'll wait here too long. Uh, let's do Ragnarok with the extra strength. Okay. I was sort of hoping one of them would be dead, but fine. Hmm. At least I trigger the uh, meter on the bone, so that's good. Should I do Eruption? Secret Technique would give me nothing super useful. Do Rage, I guess. I can't do Whirlwind. Uh, let me do Secret Technique. Grab the Offering, actually. Okay, play that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's Corruption, that's good. And then I can do Deceive Reality. Bowling Bash is pretty nice, that's 36 damage. Let's target the Backliner. Then do, actually, I should have done Eruption, right? Is that enough to kill? Yeah, if I do Eruption and then Swift Strike, I can kill with the Sense of, next, sense of Time next turn. So yeah, let's just wait. I should have done the, um, the Third Eye, right? That would allow me to curate my next hand. All right here, let's just kill the Sense of Time. All right. Got a Flex Potion, which I'll take over the Liquid Runs. I don't think I need the Liquid Runs that badly. I already have the Cut Through Fade. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do Uppercut. Okay, the Weakness is nice. And then here I'll lift for Strength. Okay. All right, the Time Eater might be tough. 26 incoming. Okay, especially with this opening hand. Let me try... Let's do Cut Through Fade first. Get rid of all of these. Actually, I'll keep the second win. That might give me some block. And then I think I have to drink the Swift Potion here. Oh, that's a shame. I If I do second one, I'll lose the barricade. I am worried. Wait, can I discard something? No, wait, can I? No, I, can't, I don't think I can defend. If I do... Yeah, I think I have to get by without playing the... Um, without without playing the second wind. How do I do that, though? I just have to defend. Um, yeah, maybe, I mean, not drawing anything would have... Actually... With Cutthroat Fate, I could have... Let me reload real quick and see if I can have, uh, discard something with Cutthroat Fate that I then can bring back with the Liquid Memories. Let's try this one more time. All right, so I started off with, yeah, Cutthroat Fate. Okay, what if I bring back the Second Wind? It'll be zero cost thanks to Liquid Memories. You know what? Let's get rid of everything here. And then drink the Swift Potion, I think. Let's do Swift Strikes first, then drink the Swift Potion. Okay, that doesn't really change the situation too much but i think i might have a chance with second one now so if i do barricade then let's get rid of the whirlwind then do the liquid memories bring back second wind and these are all, the rest is all attacks right i guess i'll do i'll do cut through fate again do cut through fate to see what i draw i think i'm willing to sacrifice the thinking head okay then do second wind is that going to be enough uh, yes, yes it is. Good, good. And now I have a barricade active on turn one. That's much better. Okay. 21. Actually, duplicating the metallicis is a great idea. It's just... Uh, can I defend here? So I have 19... 
Yeah, so I think if I do Survivor, then Dual Wield Demetallicize. Play one. That's 24. I think if I, I kind of want to do Offering, play two more Metallicizes. Yeah, I think that's better. I could also apply Weakness with the Uppercut, but I think playing two more Metallicizes is better. Yeah, this way I have 12 Plated Armor every turn, and I have the Barrier Kit active. I think that's much, much better. Okay, not being attacked here. That's great. So let's just do Disarm. I also have Ice Cream. I should keep that in mind. So let's just do Empty Body and wait. Okay. Yeah, I think the Barrier Kit made a huge difference. 30 incoming. Yeah, here I think... Without Barrier Kid, I'll be done for. Let's do Inflame, Deceive Reality, and Safety. Uh, let's do Meditate too. I think I'll bring back... What do I want to bring back? The Sense of Time, I think. Because I hadn't had a chance to make it cheaper. And then what else? Uh, let's do Dual Wheel. Yeah, I can Dual with the Sense of Time to have a lot of damage later. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might have bring, brought back a Defensive card. That might have been better. There's the Omniscience. Why would I want to Omniscience? I can Omniscience Entrench. Had a lot of block that way. Might not be a bad idea. Do I want a secret technique something? No. No, I think I'll omniscience the entrench. Yeah, so that will bring me up to over 100 block. Okay. I can do three more cards next turn. Already past the 45 minute mark. Mm -hmm. Alright, 26. Uh, here I could just do Ragnarok, right? Do I want to do Corruption? Might be a little dangerous, but fine. Let's do it. No, no, let's do Ragnarok. Let's deal damage. I have the strength to be able to do that. And then, do I want a deep breath? No, I, I do want to draw the next cards. Come. Okay. Actually, I should have drank the Flex Potion with the Ragnarok. Next time I see a Ragnarok, I should definitely do that. Havoc will either give me Rage or Protect. I'm okay losing either of those. Yeah, Protect is fine. All right. Hmm. All right. 27. So, let's do Rage, Wheel Kick. Okay. Twin Strike, Consecrate, Swift Strike, and a regular Strike. Actually... Oh, right, the enemy will transform next turn. Fine, let's do Sands of Time. Really hope I get a Ragnarok. Otherwise, I'll just save my energy with the Ice Cream. Mm -hmm. uh, Ragnarok is going to be with the Flex Potion 25 times 6. That should be enough to kill. Actually, I had the Eruption too. All right, at least I perfect this one. Um, had to take so many rare cards to be able to do that. 1,079, that's actually really low, I think. So of the five elites, I perfected two. And I did skip an elite on Act 3, and I don't think I would have stood a chance against it. Only perfected the last boss. Did get Mystery Machine, although, again, if I went on the left... Wait, so if I have 16, I went... How many on Act 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if I had gotten on the left, I would have gotten 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, I still would have gotten Mr. Machine. I would barely got any money. Uh, no chance of getting Alex Shiny. So, I don't know. Tough tough to say. I do think, uh, given the score, going for the Elite on Act 3 might have been better. But, uh, yeah, wow, I am not doing well. Let me scroll to my score. Okay, I'm 60th, and this is still pretty early in the day. Although, I do see Roland and Load of Paper Towel here. Only a few points above. Actually, they are 10 points above me, about. Which means that they probably went for... No, actually... Yeah, it would have to be 30 points more, right? If they went for an extra elite on X3. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people did poorly. Let's review the scores from yesterday, though. No, oh, I'm not sure if I noticed. Pelts got 1254 today. All right, that's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, Pelts, Pelts did really well. Must have perfected a lot of uh, bosses, too. All right, let's review the scores from yesterday, though. We'll review the scores from today, tomorrow. All right, so yesterday was a silent deck with the uh, draft modifier, flight, and lethality. I had a lot of trouble with lethality, but I think a lot of people did really well with it. So Pelts ended up with 1791. That's a really good score. Perfected all 11 elites, three bosses. Although had to, uh, Pelts admitted that he had to reload the Act 3 boss a few times to be able to perfect that one. Got five collector bonuses, which is as many as, as I was able to get. Also was able to get Popper, I like Shiny, uh, Overkill, and Combo. And I was looking at the scores... Um, so Pelts basically got everything that I did plus two more bosses. So that should be 150 points. But Pelts is actually almost 200 points higher than me. So I suspect that Pelts was actually able to get more max HP. So I end up with um, 73 max HP because I took the bites at some point. So that gave me a collective bonus. But I think it made me lose uh, 50 points from having more max HP. So I think if Pelts was able to not take the bites, still get the collective, the five collective bonuses and get more max HP, that would explain this high score. So, so congratulations. It's a really good score. You have PJM Vorpal tied for 1764. Malzahn got a pretty good score with 1722. Malzahn perfected all the elites. Missed the Act 3 boss. Um, was able to get 6 collector bonuses, which is nice. Got overkill combo, also Pauper. And then uh, I think Malzahn had a lot of trouble, had a lot of discard synergies and draw synergies. And realized that towards the end. So it was trying to fix that. And I think he bottled the prepared, the upgraded prepared, which is an interesting idea. So the upgrade prepared would allow you to sort of get a new hand, uh, use some of the discard synergies, um, and then, you know, get rid of one extra card. So I think that was a pretty smart 
smart idea. So congratulations to a great score from Malazan. You have Gold Bear with 1689. A Gold Bear perfected 10 elites, all the bosses. Got only three collector bonuses, so that's a little on the low side. Just had a few unlucky shops. Uh, also missed the Overkill modifier and also missed the Bites, which I think also indicates that yesterday the RNG was slightly different. Some people didn't get the Bites event at all. Then you have Pogging here with 1676. Pogging perfected everything. Um, took the wrist blade as the Act 1 boss relic. I didn't take it and I sort of regretted it. I had a lot of fun with shifts yesterday. Also wasn't able to get curses. Um, had uh, got got Didn't get any curses until he had the curse key. And at that point I think it was already too late. But was able to take the apparition. So again RNG was different. Some people got bites. Some people got the apparition. Which I think definitely helped um, yesterday with lethality. There were a lot of turns where I just had no chance of defending. And having the apparitions seemed like a good idea. Then you have Joe here with 1664. I end up with 1645. I perfected all elites, but only the Act 1 boss. Um, now, Roland actually mentioned that I could have probably perfected the Act 2 boss, so I should have played... Um, so I, I had a Gambler's Brew, and there was a turn I was, I was being attacked, and I, there's no way I had any defensive cards. So what I did is I played the Blade Dance. That gave me four shivs. I was able to get uh, four block with the Ornamental Fan. But if I had just used the Gambler's Brew on the shivs, so if I didn't play them, I would have drawn seven extra cards. And actually, next turn, I drew my seventh cards with a dash. So that way, I would have been able to play the dash, would have been fully defended that turn. And then there was a significant chance I would have been able to kill the next turn before I took any damage. So I think Roland pointed out that, yeah, I probably could have perfected this one with slightly better play um anyway but i did get five collector versus overkill combo popper and yeah i didn't get the max hp modifier i had 73 i needed to have at least 85 for extra points and uh yeah i did lose a lot of max hp to the bite event um and then ole also pointed out that i could have killed sooner uh, other elite fights um i had a lot of shifts which ole approved i think ole is one of the reasons i uh, take shifts and accuracies nowadays anyway you have steven with 1641 dope power and yavos and super nintendo tied at 1616 and then Panda at 1595, um, barely missing top 100. You have David here with 1666. You can check out his Twitch stream and yesterday's comment. David perfected almost all elites and all the bosses. Only got four collective bonuses though. Didn't get overkill or combo. Uh, was able to get popper, but also wasn't able to get cursor, which is unfortunate. And in a tragic twist of turns, uh, twist of event only had 84 max HP. So just needed one more max HP to get another extra 25 points. That would have put him in top 100. So yeah, just a slightly unlucky run from David yesterday. Uh, but anyway, I think that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did today. Um, I'm very curious to see how perfect this possible if I missed some sort of strategy or trick. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.